Hey, what's up guys? Mao here for Unbox Everything. Today I want to be telling you about the laptop that I have been using for the past three to five months. This is the Huawei MateBook 13. This was launched back in 2019 and I picked this up around December and I've been using it um, since then as my main computer. So the reason why I want to tell you about this computer, about this laptop, is because Huawei just announced their brand new Huawei MateBook X Pro for 2020 and that looks like an amazing laptop. I wish I could get my hands on one. So that brand new one's got a touch screen, it's got higher specs, but it's also double the price of this one, the MateBook 13. So I want to take a look at this and just let you know how this one has been performing and see if it might be suitable for your needs or if you would have to upgrade and get the Pro Edition that comes out this year. So let's get into the Huawei MateBook 13. So the first thing I love about this laptop is the design. It's got a brush aluminum unibody design. I think that's what it's called. And it's got this really sleek look. Just looks really nice and professional. It's got that Huawei logo right there. And what I love about it is its size. It's so portable and it's so light. As you can see, I'm picking it up without any problem. This is like, this is like the size of um, a piece of bond paper. So this is like uh, letter size paper. And here is the laptop. So as you can see, it's even shorter than a piece of paper width is about the same. So that is the size of this laptop. If it can, if you can fit a piece of paper in your backpack, this one will fit super easily. So the official size is that it is 11.26 by 8.31 inches and it weighs 2.8 pounds or in kilograms that's 1.3 kilograms. The Again, the look, it's really clean, really simple, and it's got a really professional look, which I love about it. So now let's open it up. There we go. So as you can see, it's got a really nice trackpad. The trackpad is a large size. It's really a good size for a trackpad and it feels nice. And then the keyboard, I really love the keyboard. It's a chiclet style keyboard. So it's got good traction. Is that the word traction? Uh, I don't know. But it's got, it It feels good when you type it. It's not like um, other laptops where it would feel shallow. You know, it does have a nice click to it while you type and it is good for writing papers as a student and for work. For the ports on the side, it's got a headphone jack and it's got a USB Type-C for charging. And on this side, we've got another USB Type-C. This is for plugging other things like storage and all that stuff. But you are gonna be needing a dongle since it is a USB Type-C port. Now it's also got the power button right here, which also doubles as a fingerprint scanner. So as soon as you press it, it wakes up and logs you in right away, which I love about it. As soon as you press the button, logs you in, don't need to worry about security and all that. So now the part that I really love about this laptop, as I've been using it over the past few months, is the display. The display is just so beautiful to look at. It's got great viewing angles, no problem there. No problem with brightness, it can get plenty bright. You can dim it at night when the lights are off, no problem. So it's a 13 inch 1440p IPS display with a resolution of 2160 by 1440. And what that gives us is a screen that has a taller aspect ratio than most laptops. Most laptops would have a wider screen, which is really nice for watching movies because on this one you get the black bars on the top and the bottom. But I don't really mind because the display is just really nice and it's got those deep blacks. So you don't really notice the, the black bars when you're watching movies. But what it does do is that it gives you a lot more real estate, especially when you are doing photo editing and video editing. Because when you're video editing, you've got more space for the preview, uh, more height for the timeline, and you can just see everything that you're working with. So it's been working great for me. This screen has just been so good to use, especially when doing design and video work. But now when you are video editing and doing all that, 
we got to talk about the performance. How does this perform? So it's got a quad-core CPU. It's got the Intel Core i7. It's also got an i5 version, but I picked up the i7 version. For the graphics, it's running an Intel UHD graphics 620, and it's got an NVIDIA GeForce MX250. Now, the earlier model was running the MX150, but the model that came out last year, 2019, has the MX250, which helps a lot in the video and editing department. It's also got 8 gigabytes of RAM, and this version came with 512 gigabytes of storage. And for me, that's decent enough, but if you would need more, you know, you're probably gonna have to get an external hard drive or something like that. But for me, um, it's more than enough for what I do, which is basically homework, schoolwork, and also some light uh, video and photo editing. So those are the numbers, but how has it actually been performing as I've been using it for the past few months? Now, I'm just gonna tell you basically what I use it for, so you can decide if it's something that you would wanna pick up and if it would work for your current needs. So what I do on this is photo editing, graphic design. I do that in Adobe Photoshop, so it runs pretty well. So far, I haven't uh, had any crashes, mostly. The only thing I found is that it sort of heats up a lot while you're using it. So sometimes I just gotta elevate it to give it a bit more air at the back. And sometimes I have to take a few breaks uh, when it's getting really hot. The battery also kind of takes a hit when I'm doing graphic design in Photoshop. It lasts maybe around maybe two hours if I'm doing it straight on a full charge. Um, but yeah. For the actual performance of Photoshop, no problem there. Everything works smoothly, no crashes, no freezing, nothing like that. So it's been pretty good for me. Now, I also mainly use this for video editing. I edit videos for freelance work and also for every video that you see on this channel, such as this one that you're watching right now was edited on this. So as with Photoshop, it runs really smoothly. I usually have color grading on there, fixing the audio, I usually have speed ramps, a lot of cuts, and a few text animations, and I guess sometimes a few effects. But I don't really do a lot of heavy video editing on this, and I usually just um, do it at 1080p. So I think that if you'd be using it for really professional work, like 4K footage, and doing heavy effects, like um, using Adobe After Effects, this might kind of slow down for you. But for what I use it for in Adobe Premiere, it's been working pretty well. It runs really smoothly, the previews playback fine, no problem there. And the only thing is that just like with Photoshop, it heats up, it can heat up, and uh, sometimes when it gets really hot, it would crash, but that isn't very often. So no need to worry about that. Just be sure to save your work often. And again, the battery does take a hit when you're doing video editing. So it can last for around two hours um, on the battery. But you know, if you're gonna be editing for more than that, make sure that you've got your charger with you. And I'm sure a few of you are also wondering how it is with gaming. And I haven't really used it for a lot of gaming because I don't really play that much anymore. But I have been playing recently some games that I got on Steam like Cuphead and Marvel vs. Capcom 3. And those have been playing uh, just fine. So if you're playing light games, no need to worry about that. Heavier games, you might have to scale back the graphics. Uh, and just make it a bit more light on the machine. And I'm sure it would play pretty well. I've actually heard that games like Fortnite and PUBG can play on this if you just scale back some of the settings. Of course, the other stuff that I use it for is like watching movies, taking notes, writing papers, browsing the web, all that stuff. And it runs really well on this. And it's also got um, Windows 10 out of the box in case you needed to know. So who is this laptop for? I would say it's for students and young professionals who just need a laptop to do work on, type out papers, and of course, enjoy all your movies, your Netflix, all that stuff. It's also good for vloggers. If you're a smaller vlogger who just does simple videos, not those professional stuff, you know, if you're just editing quick videos like I do, I think that this laptop would be really good for you. The fact that it's portable is really good because you can bring it with you wherever you are, edit your travel vlogs, wherever you're traveling to, but yeah. It's also really good for graphic designers. It runs really smooth and for graphic design, it's been really good for me. Especially this screen, the beautiful screen, really makes all of my graphic design work so enjoyable to do on this laptop. And again, of course, it's good for people who just want something that's light, 
portable that you can throw in your bag, bring with you everywhere and not really have to feel it. So I really like this laptop. I'm really happy that I got this. I wish it had the touch screen of the new one, but that's okay. I don't really need a touch screen. It's just something that's nice to have. So if you really want a laptop that is like, then you probably should go for the brand new MateBook X Pro 2020, which you can look up. But for me, I'd still stick with the Huawei MateBook 13 that I've been using. It's been really good for me. I've been enjoying it so much, and I'm really happy that I got this laptop for myself. So while the Huawei MateBook X Pro 2020 is gonna retail for 119,990 pesos, you can pick up the Huawei MateBook 13 2019 edition for 69,990 pesos. Almost half the price of the brand new one, but of course there's a big jump also in quality. So you'll have to weigh that out depending on what your needs are. But what about you? Would you pick up the Huawei MateBook 13 2019 for yourself? Or would you pay double the price to get the brand new Huawei MateBook X Pro 2020? I want to hear from you in the comments below. Again, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet for more unboxings and reviews just like this one. And as always, stay safe and I will see you back here next time as I continue to unbox everything. Shh.